So working with this desertified condition, you need to start stabilizing the soil again. And you can see a little bit of that happening here. We've got a little bit of bio crust starting, the mosses. See, so this is starting to hold the soil and you can see how these different points are actually different types of mosses holding and putting some roots down and preventing the soil from moving around. Eventually you start getting different vegetation, starting to colonize it once it's stabilized, because in the unstabilized area, you're not gonna get that. It's not stable enough for germination and there's not enough moisture holding capacity in the soil, not enough nutrients for the plants to germinate and establish themselves. So it's this successional process that's happening here. And in terms of the microbiome, you're, you're creating the conditions for the microbiome to re-establish itself and carbon to start sequestering into the soil. Initially, you need to stabilize the soil either by putting the grass in or sticks or using some sort of fencing so that you can stop the movement of the sand long enough for these species to colonize and start holding the soil. And this is a very...